What's up? It's Mel. Here's the deal. Riding motorcycles totally rules, but depending on where you live, you can't always ride year round due to different weather situations. So I certainly can't ride year round living in Minnesota just because of all the snow that comes down and it's frustrating, but I can extend my riding season for a month or so if I dress really warm for cold weather riding. Riding days and miles are absolutely precious to me. So by outfitting myself and my motorcycle appropriately, I get to extend my riding season by a couple hundred miles every year. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my top five things to know about cold weather riding. And that's going to include what to wear to stay warm, how to prepare for cold weather riding, different ways to stay warm, and what exact gear will help you ride better in the cold. So I'm Melissa Hussong and I'm a motorcycle mindset coach. I help women live authentically by riding motorcycles. Okay, so I used to get so sad when the weather turned cold every year, thinking that I wouldn't be able to ride anymore. And I realized after a while that that just isn't true. It took me a long time to figure out how to dress for cold weather riding. So I want to share my favorite tips with you to help you save time and get more miles on your motorcycle. By the way, I want you to check out the links below in the notes for more motorcycle and mindset content. Okay, so here I am making a video about the five things you want to know about how to ride in cold temperatures. And tip number one, understand wind chill. So <laughs> wind chill is a weather phenomenon that basically means whatever the temperature is outside, even if it's colder, um, it's going to be cold, even colder when the wind is blowing. And when we ride motorcycles, we are constantly in the wind, which means it's always colder when we ride than it is just standing still or idling your motorcycle at a stoplight. So every time I ride, I plan on it being at least five degrees colder in my saddle on my motorcycle. The thing here is that the colder it is outside, usually the colder the effect of wind chill. This is the reason that I always pack an extra layer when I ride, because even sometimes being in the shade gets a little chilly. I like to go on super long rides, and that's just kind of my thing. So the temperature outside can change quite a bit from the early morning to the evening. And cold weather is going to affect how your body regulates temperature. It's going to pull the blood from your extremities, your arms and your legs, and it's going to redistribute it to your torso and your blood is going to be a little thicker. So it's going to be hard to stay warm in places like your hands that really don't have anything going for them. It's just like bone and veins. <laughs> this is critically important when you ride because you're going to need maximum use of your hands at all times to shift gears, roll the throttle on and off and to brake. Tip number two, check the weather. Every time I ride, I check the weather. It doesn't matter if it's going to be super hot and humid in summer or if it's going to be a cold fall evening. On a motorcycle, we are exposed 100% to the weather and all of the elements. So we must be prepared for them so that we can ride safely. The weather can change on a dime. So taking a look at the weather radar can help you stay informed of any storm fronts that are going to come your way while you're riding. This is especially important for long distance rides and rides with different altitudes where you might ride through different storm fronts, different pressure fronts. Okay, tip number three, how to stay warm. Staying warm is going to be a game changer for you if you want to ride your motorcycle late in the season. An obvious way to do this is to dress warm. I like to dress warm by wearing top and bottom base layers made out of merino wool. 
So merino wool helps insulate the body while wicking away moisture because moisture is the quickest way for you to get cold. You want to repel as much moisture as possible, which you can do by wearing moisture wicking fabrics and waterproof outer layers. Another reason I love merino wool, it is super warm, but also the layers are incredibly thin. So they're fantastic base layers and under layers beneath my motorcycle safety gear. So on that note, I want you to pick additional layers like sweaters and long sleeve shirts that are warm but thin and do not add too much bulk to what you're wearing. You want enough room under your riding jacket to be able to move freely without feeling the cold on your body. It is a very tough balance, but it can be done. I layer with merino wool long sleeves, a thick cotton hoodie, and a fleece vest on top, and then my motorcycle jacket. Merino wool can be really delicate, so you don't want it touching any Velcro or scratchy fabrics, which are pretty common on the inside of your motorcycle jacket. So I wear multiple layers of socks under my boots, again, always merino wool. And I also wear disposable toe warmers to heat the insides of my boots. Glove liners underneath your gloves are going to help add additional warmth when you're riding. But just make sure that you have 100% dexterity with your hands and your fingers because you want to be able to control your motorcycle. So not only can you move your fingers around, but you want to make sure that your wrists are like loosey goosey and ready to go um, for throttle use and um, your, your shifting um, with the clutch. So another thing that is going to just be a game changer is heated gloves. And there's a couple different kinds you can buy. You can buy battery operated that connect directly to your motorcycle battery. There's going to be a couple electrical cables that you connect to your battery. You can also buy just like straight up battery operated that are like double A operated or like the big square batteries. Um, and they are going to have like a battery pack in the glove. Sometimes they can connect to a battery pack in your jacket. So the ultimate way to keep your hands warm, however, is going to be to invest in heated hand grips. So this is really great long term if you're planning to ride, you know, late in the season for the rest of your riding career, it can be really a great investment and modification to add to your motorcycle. So if you find yourself accidentally riding in cold weather, say for example, a storm rolls in that you can't outrun, then some really good improvised warm weather gear is going to be your rain gear. It's going to keep you dry. And since it's waterproof, it's going to keep a lot of your body heat in. Uh, it's also going to keep the wind out, which can help a lot. It just doesn't have those insulation properties that the rest of the gear has that we've talked about. So another point here, having a motorcycle with a fairing helps a lot with cold temperatures because it basically deflects the wind and it keeps the warmth from your engine close to your body. So I've ridden my touring motorcycle <laughs> all tucked up behind the fairing, um, hugging the tank with my knees and had my head tucked below the windshield just to stay a tiny bit warmer. And it helped quite a lot. So on the other hand, when I ride my dual sport motorcycle, which doesn't have a fairing and doesn't have a windshield, I freeze my butt off immediately and I feel the effects. So one other thing, modification to your motorcycle that helps a lot is to add bark busters or hand guards. It's basically the protective shield that covers your hand grips. Um, it's kind of going to be like this sort of in front of your hands and it deflects the wind and any debris basically protects your hands while you're riding. It helps a lot. And they're really affordable and a super easy modification to add to your motorcycle to make it more cold weather proof. Now you can install these yourself. It's really not complicated whatsoever. Tip number four, prepare mentally for being cold. So as I said in the beginning, I didn't ride late in the season because I didn't think that I could ride my motorcycle in cold weather. 
And it wasn't the cold weather that was stopping me here. It was my mindset. Once I realized that I could do it, it was just a matter of finding the right gear to make it possible. Now, our bodies can withstand cold temperatures as long as our minds allow it. So if you are mentally committed to riding in cold temperatures, then you will do it. It's as simple as that. It's like taking a cold shower. Obviously, it's not for everybody, but you can do it if you want to. Tip number five, know when to call it. So riding in cold temperatures is a great way to get some extra miles every year, but it is super important to know when to call it quits. If your fingers are cold and you can't operate the motorcycle properly, then you shouldn't be riding. If you are shivering and struggling to stay warm, then you shouldn't be riding. A couple times now, I found myself riding my dual sport around town, shivering my butt off with my knees hugging the tank so tightly, hoping just for a little bit of extra warmth. When I realized that this was just ridiculous, I was being super silly and I didn't need to be putting myself through that because it was actually kind of dangerous. The scenery wasn't even that good. The ride wasn't that good. It wasn't worth it. Prioritize your safety at all times when you ride your motorcycle. If you are too cold to ride, then don't. It's not worth the story and it is not worth the glory of saying that you did it. Okay, so there you have it. My five things to know when riding in cold temperatures. We talked about cold weather riding, including what to wear to stay warm, how to prepare for cold weather riding, ways to stay warm and gear that will keep you warm while you ride in the cold. So I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I sincerely hope you did. As a motorcycle and mindset coach, my aim is to always to share information with you to keep you safe and informed on the road so that you can live your best life. Now I have a small favor to ask. I would love if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps get the word out so more women are empowered to ride motorcycles. So again, I'm Melissa Hussong. You can catch me at www.herhandlebars.com or on Instagram at Melissa Hussong. I'll see you next time for more motorcycle and mindset tips and advice.